The Profoto A1 works differently with each camera system. In this video, we're gonna show you how to use the A1 with the Nikon. So first, we're gonna mount the A1 to the top of your Nikon camera. Lock it down, power up the A1, power up the Nikon camera, and we're set. All we need to do now is ensure that the A1 is in TTL mode and that we have our camera set to the settings that we want, and the camera will make our exposure settings for us using the A1. So with the A1, you can flash exposure compensate plus three or minus three. And with most Nikon cameras, you're only allowed to go plus one or minus three. The really, really cool thing about the A1 with a Nikon system is that you can stack them, giving you plus four and minus six on your flash exposure compensation. If you want manual control over your power, you simply flip the TTL switch down to manual, and now you've taken control over the power. Starting at 10 is full power, you can turn it down to nine, which is half power, eight, which is quarter power, and so on down to two. So let's set up high speed sync with an icon camera. The first thing you need to do is enable auto FP if you haven't already. Go into your camera settings menu under bracketing and flash and we select a sync speed with auto FP next to it. Depending on which Nikon camera you have, you may have multiple auto FP options. My D800 has two, for example. I always choose the higher of the two. That keeps me out of high speed sync longer. If you only have one option, take that option. Now that you've enabled auto FP, you simply ramp your shutter above your camera sync speed, and you'll know that you're in high speed sync by the high S on the back screen of the A1. And that's how easy it is to use the Profoto A1 with a Nikon camera system.